Rudi van Berg, congratulations to the uh, podium. From the outside, it looked incredibly hard. Maybe you can tell us how it felt. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it was. Uh, I felt. I mean, I felt quite good. Let's say, <laughs> even though you know it's such a long race, you're, you're never really feeling good. You're you're in a very uncomfortable position, I'd say. But uh, you know, it's the legend keeps on going for me for the energy lab, like running out of it it just kind of takes it out of you and it's at that point you know 30k into the run and uh, the way back about yeah 11 12k back was uh very very tough um i was good on energy you know i, I drank my six bottles it was even more nutrition than i needed really um maybe i need to <laughs> see you know adjust that maybe i need even more than i think but uh uh yeah it was a bit of a nightmare coming back That's kind of the, the word that comes to mind, but um, you know, you you have all that motivation or that that drive, and uh, I had to stay third, you know. So just keep on, just keep on going. Yeah, that's that's what you told us in the pre-race conference that last year in Nice you you weren't ready because of uh, an injury you had before for the uh, to to attack the podium and. Now you went one step up. It, it, how was was there the the the, uh, the fear that you can lose it uh, between, or was it were, were you that confident that you say, okay, I, I will keep it? I mean, I thought I could, but at the same time, not really. Like I, I kept on getting gaps to Magnus, and I was screaming. I was like behind, <laughs> like <laughs> because you know you you start switching to a. A point where you want to keep your position, you know, especially obviously if, if you're on the podium. So, uh, and I thought it was Mano Kulas actually behind me, and uh, actually Leon, uh, yeah, started feeling better. And um, yeah, but there's there was no way in the world that I was gonna lose my third place. A little bit like Challenge Roth this year, I was feeling actually quite a bit worse there. But the downhill from uh, Buchenbach, uh, you know, I I just went into a different world. <laughs> And uh, here was somewhat similar, but yeah. Now you did, you achieved it. You're on the podium, one step up uh, compared to Nice. Um, yeah, what what does it um, mean for you? And is that is it a dream come true, really? Absolutely, yeah, dream come true uh, means very very much to me. It means I would say everything, but you know, it's uh, you know, triathlon's been my life. It's what I do every day for the last. 10, 15 years easily. Um, so yeah, to, to do a podium in in the the pinnacle of the the sport is uh, and in this location, the, the historical location, is uh, yeah, just means absolutely uh, a lot. <laughs> and and Patrick was uh, joking in the pre-race conference that he's the old, more or less the oldest guy in there, and he he could do it. So there's so there's room for the next years. <laughs> Definitely, yeah. I mean, I'm 31 now. Uh, I mean, quite impressed with his performance. He was his bike, especially, was really not even one step up, like two steps up, three steps up. So to to still see him there at the end of the ride, I was like, wow. I mean, this guy is just on a day, and uh, yeah, I'm really happy for him. He's a uh, Really good guy, um, and uh, yeah. so thanks again and congratulations and have a good recovery. Thank you. Thank you.